It was exactly four weeks ago today, minus 87 minutes, that David told me that he wanted to become the new manager of Manchester United. And from that time, uh, the football club has continued on a long and exhaustive journey to find the right man to take this club forward. During the four weeks, I have to say, I've met some of the finest individuals you could possibly meet in football. The finest of them is sitting next to me now, and it's a great relief, joy, and it is seriously exciting to me that Roberto Martinez has agreed to be the next manager of Everton Football Club. I just want to say one thing before I ask Roberta to say a few words. Right at the start of this, when I was doorstepped um, a couple of hours after David had left, I said um, that the fans would play an important part in uh, the choice of the next manager. And I've listened to the fans uh, for the last four weeks, and their voices have come over loud and clear, and I'm very pleased to say that in the end they've said, look, you got it right last time, we leave it to you, 90% of them will. To the Evertonians, and this is what this appointment is all about, if you'd been at the meetings, the conversations that I've had with your new manager, you would be as thrilled, as excited, as buoyed, and as in awe as I have been. It's been a great introduction for the pair of us. And again, great words, the new manager of Everton Football Club, Roberto Martinez. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, there's not much I want to say apart from saying that it's a real, real special day to come into Everton Football Club and have this feeling already of excitement, of honour, and just I would like to thank the chairman and the board to give me this opportunity because this is a phenomenal and a passionate football club and I can't wait to get soaked with everything that it means Everton and make sure that we we start working and playing football to be extremely, extremely proud. Thank you. So I think we're going to throw ourselves open to questions now. Would that be about right? Can we just stop the flashing for a few moments? Fraser, you'd like to kick off. Roberto, it uh, seems like it's taken quite a while, but um, you finally got the, the deal done and got the job. There have been numerous opportunities over the past few years for you to perhaps join other clubs. So why was it that you decided that Everton was the right one for you? Well, it's, uh, it's simple. It's just it came in a natural way. I know that it's been a lot of talking. Most of that talking has always been in the outside, in the media. Um, it's been a phenomenal time at Wigan. Uh, I enjoyed every single second of it. After four seasons, this was the right time. And after I met the chairman, I knew that Everton was the right football club. So it's been just a, a natural transition and it's the right time now to, to, to be involved in, in such an exciting challenge. You're filling a very big pair of boots in David Moyes having left for Manchester United. Um, how much pressure does that put on you? Because clearly Moyes is a big hero here for many, many years and you'll be expected to do similarly great things. Yes, huge pressure, and, and, but I'm, I'm extremely proud of that pressure because that means that what David Moyes has done at, at Everton in the last 11 years, he set real standards and what is produced is giving a, an incredible platform for the next man to continue. And I feel that I'm, I'm very, very lucky and very fortunate to be able to carry on that work that is done over the years. But what clearly, what is done is giving Everton an identity, is giving uh, an incredible, incredible standards. And all I want to do is try to be uh, humble enough and, 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 and hard-working enough to take that, that magnificent job into the next level. How much of a wrench was it for you to leave Wigan? Well, it's always, it's always difficult. I always been, every time you're involved in football, um, I believe in, in human relationships and you create that. And 
and it's never easy to break those relationships. And I hope that for the future I can build that relationship at, at Everton and, and we can be a real strong unit from the fans to the board to the chairman to everyone that is in the football staff and, and the players and we need to become that unit and it's always difficult when you break down but it's the right time is um, I believe that that um, is Wigan got a great future <coughs> ahead it, it was the right time to have a new a new uh, a fresh energy around the place as well so all I'm excited I'm looking forward is what we can do at Everton and how quickly we can become a very strong unit and a winning unit on the football pitch with, with the incredible support that this football club has. Dave Whelan said at the time when you said that you wanted to leave or decided to leave, that you said you felt you weren't equipped to be able to take Wigan back up. What was meant by that and what is the difference between doing that and being at a, a top Premier League? Well, we had the, the, I, my period of Wigan is only... It's not been only four years as a manager, it's been 10 years in one way or another. Having 10 years with a football club is, is a big part of your career and your life. And I just felt that it was the right time after four uh, very special years to, to move on. Uh, the circumstances at the club now are completely different. They're going to play in Europe. They're going to be uh, trying to get out of the championship as quick as they can. And I felt that probably a new man needs to take that job on, on on board and for me it was time to 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 look into a different challenge and carry on with uh, with a completely different different football club and obviously from that point on it was clear that the only club that I felt I could fit in it was was Everton and and that that was a feeling that wasn't a decision that was just meeting the chairman seeing him so passionate about this football club, it got me involved in wanting to know more and, and, and see what we can achieve in the future and, and just I can't wait to, to get started but it, it, that's just walking here today at Goodison Park, it really feels a special place for the future for me.